Ho. Hi. I hurt my base. He's live now. Control. Watch now. Okay, there we go. I'm gonna show all now the we get... what has been done. My, it's empty in here. How do I? I'm here. Can you hear me? I can hear you. Ooh. Where's the chat? I don't understand. So yeah, the last time that I streamed. Ooh, there we go. There it is. Stream manager. Why don't we spam some discords and just let people know that I'm streaming so I could potentially have more than one person watching. Your fiance? Your fiance on? Well, I'm sure that I can probably get Avery to log in on her phone. Poodle. Poodle. Where is she at? Like, really? I mean... So, yeah. Uh, so tonight, uh, I was working in my basement, but it is stream day, so I had to finish that up. Um... And I'm kind of trying to figure out what I want to do. So... You want to come over to your fiancé's base and kill some more villagers. Zombie villagers. Kill them? No. <laughs> so, let me just do an overview that's what real like. quick of what I have worked on. So, the last stream, we worked on this hallway. Uh, the Hi, vines Rusi. have grown down. Rusi is the kitty. Um, I found that I was not keeping my... Uh, First stream since we was up there. Well, that's weird. Um, I found that I was not getting enough sugar cane from my automatic sugar cane farm, which I <sighs> thought I had enough nodes on. So I made these gigantic fields. There she is. Grinders that they are always Sorry. loaded. So we've got plenty of sugar cane now. I really need to put a door here. What are those things? Why are the chests black? Uh, it's this. It's this uh, pack that I'm using. The pack. Oh, that did same Remember, with the animals. The entities, they always turn up like really dark. What do you look like? Are you an entity? I am an entity. Uh, I don't know if I'm really dark. Yeah, I'm dark. Well, let's see. I'm in shadow. Unless you're down here. How you doing? Poo 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 poodles here. Cool. Lavendale in the house. So she needs to change her. Tunnel. We did this whole tunnel. And then Hi, Proto! Off camera. Let her know we're on stream and not to say dirty words. Hey, because she's such a cussing person. She's not like her mommy. She's a good little girl. So we You're dug right. out the top wall mm -hmm. of the castle wall here. Which I really like the way that it turned out. It's kind of challenging to build around curves sometimes, but I was able to pull it off without it being too wonky, and I am 100% okay here. with that. <coughs> what up, Poodle? So here's my castle wall. Hi. Thank you. So... All this that stuff down here nice is just utilitarian. This was I am actually online awesome. right now, but it's never very good. It's always, like, shoddy. Hi, Poodle. Chris says hi. I got you on. I'm on. Hello. I got you on already. I Let's see how this works. An observatory over here. I'm going to give a spot to him. Is it too, is it too, is it too warm for you? Your grandmother apparently has changed from the person she used to be where she was cold all the, or hot all the time and now she's cold all the time and it's colder downstairs than it is up here so, anyway. so anyhow I made an observatory 
there. Oh, well, yeah. Let's see the observatory, babe. Fly out there and let's see it. Um, I'm not sure. How oh, oh gather them up. Avery has Joes all over the place. I had it. He killed my Joe last night. Why'd you kill <laughs> She said, why'd you kill her Joe, bro? <laughs> Here. Put them on it. So then you can be on, on Discord. Oh, okay. And you just, yeah. Yes, keep whispering to each other, because that's awesome. <laughs> I wasn't whispering. We weren't not we were not intentionally whispering. Okay, let's see what's going on. Here. Yeah, we were we were right. we were whispering. So really. What's going on here? I made okay. an archway going through, and then I started can you hear to rough out a river going through. And you can talk to. He's on. This if you want to put on a Twitch stream on your phone, then you'll look like he has more. It helps his Twitch. Okay. She's like yeah. everybody can hear everything you're saying. Okay, I'm telling her to get on the Twitch stream. Okay, well, that's fine. Yeah. Just, you just it's it. kind you of distracting when I'm trying to talk to, like, you two, because, you know, you're the ones watching. Alright, so... There was nothing here, there was no river, so we just decided to build a river. Um, and then if you come inside here, this is actually the inside of the Creeper of Liberty statue. So I wanted to have a river coming through here, I wanted like a, a gate in the wall. side, take a look at it. This was all dug out by hand. So this river here was natural. I dug this out and then uh, brought it all over on the level. So I'm trying to figure out what I want to do tonight. I want to come up with some sort of commerce area at the spawn or somewhere, but I kind of don't want to do that. I kind of want to just make people go to each other's bases to go buy stuff because there's something to be said for actually traveling to somebody's base and seeing what they've done. So I thought this area here could potentially make a nice market, but I would need to do some layout. I think I need to get rid of that water there, and then maybe extend that over, and then link all this stuff up. So I think tonight what I'm going to do is some layout. First things first, I'm going to get some materials to make some more rockets. Okay, so 
that doesn't quite show enough. Hmm. That's unfortunate. Yeah, that's really unfortunate. What are you guys doing? She's digging straight down. She's digging straight down. That's not down, you realize that. Well, Mumbo did a whole thing on that. He did, and it actually isn't that bad. Yeah. Like the percentages of actually hitting something are, you, you know. The problem is that when you do hit something, it's so catastrophic. Yeah. It, yeah, it does make sense. I understand the fear and the concept. Hmm? You're gonna burn some stuff? <laughs> Just throw some trees in the. Hey, hey, hey! Get some more food going. Ah. Uh. Gotta be not my time. Right, so let's go get a napkin. What the hell? Bunch. Is it a napkin? Oh. That would be Chris putting a napkin in so, Out of our inventory, we're gonna fly over here to my dirt harvesting area. He's digging straight down. I was gonna like go down to like how what level is it? Not twelve, but eleven is like, like prime diamond area. But I was also gonna try the lower levels either than that to see if I could try and find diamonds. I think it's also to go grab more cobblestone. Like below sixteen, I think is like the prime area. Okay. That's what I was gonna do. Because when I was mining out underneath my mega base, there was a lot of diamonds down lower. It was actually really surprising. What are you doing? Why are you just in the witch middle screen? Oh, okay. I was talking about it. Hmm. What, what color hat? What do you got on then? It's just, uh, it's just, it's just, oh, it's, so it's not a hat. That's weird. Like <laughs> I got no comments on the picture that I sent you. 
with the chest plate with the elytra hook to it. Oh, I like that. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm totally on board with that, because why should you have to choose? Or at least let us put some, like, decent enchants on an elytra. Like, if we could put protection on an elytra, I'd be down. No, you can put mending. Mending and unbreaking. And unbreaking, but that's about it. I think that those are the only two. Words. Oh, is that it? Okay. Yeah. A bit of block lag. Thank you, friends. Are you sure it's not you? Have you not built something in your new base that's going to lag oh, us I out again? Positive. I am actually <laughs> on a different island, just harvesting dirt. Accusations? Okay. Or thank that, lagged that out the base, whole. That base is just cursed. I'm not sure why. Powermon took over. Probably. Which I am very much yes, murder of iron guy. The Fellowship of the Ring book on Audible. Why? Why did you take me? Not a plug Why for did Audible. I... I just listen to a lot of books. <laughs> though if though if Audible wanted to sponsor him. Yes, because we have <laughs> viewers. <laughs> Two whole viewers. Oh my goodness. Three. Three whole viewers. Three whole viewers. Setting records. I don't know what's happening. <sighs> okay. If somebody can sleep, that would be amazing. I don't understand how to use an Electra, and I refuse to learn, so we're just, just uh, jump. You don't know. <laughs> just, no, on, on a controller, you gotta do three times. I don't exactly do know what it is. Three times? I don't know. Like, if I, if I jump twice, it doesn't do anything. Like, I, yeah. Because he's a dragon, so he has wearing to this. As a, actually, he's got them all over his. Uh -oh. Hey, Dan. Dan. Board. Dan What's going here. on, Danja man? What? Oh, you're not standing. You have to stand. No, you just okay. Shout out to Dan. It... He's on the front line yeah. of the COVID. He should be one of the first people to get the vaccine then. Yeah, absolutely. Tell him to get online. Howdy, ladies and gents. They get on the Discord. Why do you tell him to get on the Discord? I don't... <laughs> Alright, so I got a bunch of dirt. So we're going to do some reshaping because I'm not happy with the shape of this island. And as you can see, I have of course you aren't. a whole lot under the water here. I think these defenses may be flawed a little bit. <laughs> you can just swim okay, maybe for a walls. bit. Swim under the walls. Ooh, Dan's in here. <clears throat> hello, hello, hello. No, he's in my uh, mob grinder thing. I know, but he said maybe. Yeah, I said get on Discord voice, Dan, and he said, maybe for a bit. Do I have anything I can throw at him? Rocket. Alright, so I do actually want to make some... Hey! Mappage. I cannot hear Dan if he is talking. I'm killing your friends, Chris. The Joes? No. 
Oh, is that what you called the little slime? No, why are you killing the slimies? Okay, we're having chunk loading issues. That's great. Uh, all right. No, Dan. No, 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 no. <clears throat> Look at this crap right here. Look at this. Oh. It doesn't look like Dan has queued up his mic. It's broken. And so that block just stays there. <laughs> it doesn't pull it down. My thing keeps getting more and more jacked up, honey. Ah! Why is it just co opening and closing now? Well, I have to... Somebody standing on the pressure plate? It keeps getting worse and worse. There was just one block missing. Now there's like, there's like the, 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 the pistons are, there's like two pistons. I don't know. It I don't doesn't know. Matter I fixed anymore. it and it works fine. And then it just I know. doesn't, Whatever. I don't know what's going on with it. I will Whatever. take some time on that. What is that? Oh, where is, where's Joe 2 at? He was in where we had is he, Joe 1. Is he, is he where Joe 1 was? Hi, Joe 2. Yeah, last night. Hello. What's up, Dan? Hey! Why well, I haven't been on board for so long that I kept talking without pressing my push to talk. <laughs> That's, That's really been funny. too long. Welcome to the stream. Thank you. What's going on? Is a party in here? Yeah. We got a uh, harpy and we got... Poodle Bear, aka Lavendel. This is uh, Jen's daughter, right? Yeah. I was explaining, explaining to Lavendel where Joe 2 came from. Sweet. He came from the deep dark. The deep dark. Hi, Joe no, don't I have to throw a weakness potion at him and then a... Yes, so you have to have a weakness potion. Not you have time to, to have go. A... And... I need to put him in a cart. Instead of a wine cart. Let me go and raid my, my golden apple shop that me and Gabe had. That is not doing any business whatsoever. That I gave a crap ton of golden apples to. And that they never got you. Unless somebody else took them. Which quite possibly they could have. I actually think Caleb bought like two stacks of golden apples. No. So, the idea is that this whole area needs to be filled in. I think I'm okay with the shape. That may need to be softened out a little bit. So let's soften that out. Oh. Hey, how did you grow chorus fruit in the uh, overworld? You have to put it on instant. Oh, it's so similar to like the new uh, the new wood types on the uh, yeah the, you uh, have nether. To, yeah, you have to have it on like um, the nylium or the crimson whatever it is. I can never remember the name of that stuff. So. Right, so we're going to fill this whole area in here with... Mm, you know what? I do actually want to make a dry dock. So maybe what we should do... Dan, how wide would you think a ship is? 
I think they come in all sizes. Yeah, it's like typical Minecraft shipwreck. I don't know, like maybe like 20? Oh, I was thinking like across from the bow. And the... Yeah, I'm just... Uh, I think there's one... There's one semi-closed <clears throat> to get into all that. I am... Alright, I'm gonna make it 15 blocks wide, I think. And then I should be safe. So... What? The bees have them. You can talk, darling. It's still a little... So is everybody a crack or uh, are some people still back in the old Ajaxia? No, I'm I'm still back in the old Ajaxia. Oh, and I, I am really upset. Have you seen the stasis chamber for Ender Pearls that you can do in Java? Dan? No, I don't even know what you're talking about. What do you mean? So basically you could have like an Ender Pearl in a bubble column. And it'll just stay there. Oh, I think I saw it in one of Grian's episodes where he can yeah. he can at, at any point like call up all the the, the whole um, group yeah, of them the, the, with an Ender Pearl. The resistance members. Mm -hmm. So it does not work at all in Java or in a bedrock. bedrock. Yeah. I Explain it so Lavendel knows what you're talking about. Okay, so basically, when you throw an Ender Pearl in java it doesn't actually do anything until it hits something so if you can prevent it from hitting something then you can keep it in a state of like it's like endless. suspended yeah it's, it's like they call it stasis or that's what i've heard on on videos so it's basically like stuck in that state until something interacts on it so how how were you slain by a vindicator? Ah, uh, I don't I don't want to talk about it. <sighs> Dan. So the idea is I'm gonna go take revenge. Drop your ender pearl into a bubble column, and then on the top of that you have a trapdoor, and then. Can put the trapdoor down and it'll call somebody to your location basically whoever threw it it's like yeah it's kind Does of like sense? i wanted to try and do it last night with the mom and i went over there to build it and it doesn't work on bedrock and that's really unfortunate because it's a really really cool mechanic and i'm really really getting tired of just not having parity is it um, is it because you can't have it float in water, or what's what's preventing it from I'm doing the same sure. thing? It's, it seems like in bedrock, what happens is that the the interaction between a water source block is the same as a solid block. Mm. I'm not sure why it works in, in, in Java, but not in Bedrock, because, like, that doesn't even explain it. It's kind of this weird... Yeah, I don't know. Because if you think about it, like, the trapdoor is not a solid block. It's, it's a partial block or a transparent block. So I don't know if they just don't have, like, that part of it programmed in the game. Did you see that when I sent that to you? Yeah. Wasn't that the thing for the Aether? You know that the guy that you know the guy that 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 created the Aether mod. He's actually working with Mojang now. I'm pretty sure. 
He works for them, I think, now. I think they mentioned that. Yeah, the guy that inspired the uh, TN? No, the guy that, that created the Aether mod. Yeah, pack. that's where they got the idea for the end. Oh, okay. Well, Avery, 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 Avery just really likes the Aether. She used to talk about it all the time when she was a little kid. It was the cutest thing. That actually exists? The Aether mod? Yeah, it was yeah like, like, is it... Is it's it a mod thing where you, you use, to... like, glowstone to build a... Uh... Yeah. But it's a mod pack that you have to put on your... on. Are you talking about the mod where you had a mod pack to... Or like, it was a portal where you put, like, a glowstone portal instead of, a. Uh... Yeah, and then you put water in it. Yeah. And it was, like, what? Like, a heaven type? Yeah. Like, yeah. So it actually did something at some point? Because, uh... I keep seeing memes of people trying to do it and getting nothing out of it well if you had that it was a mod, mod pack it did this is like way old but people this is way old game. yeah <laughs> really old the, mod on there. the aether mod was released on july 22nd of 2011. oh that god that was like right after so it was like right after alpha the, yeah When Poodle was like seven to nine. <laughs> mod pack. I'm, I'm not good. Stack exchange? Instead of like a conventional store situation. Oh, so just like trading stacks? Yeah, like bartering. I'm good with that. I was thinking about. But I want to set up something where everybody is kind of, like you set up your store at your base and then it kind of forces people to go like, look at your build instead of going to like a, like a town area. Right, right. And then you have, you can have multiple offers kind of thing, like if you, like. Yeah, I mean like, oh, we're lagging now. What's going on now? Flying around. Yeah, I can't eat. Now, finally. <laughs> I've been on, I've now done all the same potato for like 10 minutes. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. Um, I, I have to figure out what, uh, what my offerings are going to be because I don't really produce a lot of stuff. Well, just like gunpowder. Like, I could set a stack at like 32, you know what I mean? 32 what? Like, oh, oh, set, it oh, got, like okay, got it. And then you trade it for whatever else you're going to trade it for. Or like, somebody could so. put up like uh, dispensers or something. It's like a pain in the, pain in the butt to craft. Activate or something like that for whatever you're gonna trade it. So like it's a stack of dis or like a stack of eight of dispensers worth a stack of gunpowder, probably. Just change up the whole paradigm of. Oh. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. Right now, I could use all the gold that I could that I could get my hands on. I want to like, you know, that uh, beacon, that new, um, not beacon, but um, you know that that uh, block that you make with six crying obsidian and glowstone, and it lets you um, sort of do the same thing that bats do in the overworld, but in the Nether. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But if you light it and then you don't use it, it looks really cool as a floor. So I have this whole area that I want to essentially. Oh, so you want to use just... like, one of the most expensive blocks in the game? As a floor. As, as a floor. <laughs> yeah, and right now I have like three of them. I had five, but two of them exploded on me by by mistake. Uh, what? <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> so I had I, I made a whole bunch, right? Because I was I was uh, AFKing at the at the the mob farm, and uh, so I went back and I traded with piglings for like two hours until I found finally had enough um, crying obsidian for like six blocks because each of them takes six, right? Okay. But the problem is, is if you place them in the uh, overworld, you can place it, turn it on, but if you, after turn it on, turning it on, you touch it again, it explodes like a bed. Like when you place a bed in the in the nether. So I started with six of those and then through mistakes, I ended up exploding two, three of them, I think. Wow, okay. So that's like six crying obsidian per block going to waste. Um, well, we don't have biotech on, so it's hard to make a good gold farm. Yeah, I've just been kind of getting whatever I can get my hands on at the uh, mob farm there. I was the... actually thinking about trying to make like a conventional style gold farm. Like a... Okay, I cannot fly. I don't know. Who what exactly is a conventional style gold farm? Uh, it's kind of like the conventional style gold farm that, like, got your attention. And oh, the, yes. uh, in the nether, you mean? Mm -hmm. Yeah, but it doesn't have to be... The one that got my attention. <laughs> That's cute. I never really realized what you were building. Oh, really? Nope. All I ever saw the pictures of was a big round circle in the nether. Yeah, oh, you guys talking about the one in Taco Web? Yeah. Yeah, that thing is massive. The 128 oh, blocks. Oh, 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 what? No. How much I'm gold was that producing? I'm dead. I'm dead. A lot. Where did you? Where were you at? It looked like you were down near the floor. My <laughs> dear. Hence the it's catastrophic. And that right there is why I have to keep inventory on. Yes, we do have to keep inventory on. Yeah, I've grown. I've grown uh, quite used to 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 that feature now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. To be honest, I mean, the, the whole thing that made me get started on Keep Inventory was playing with my kids. And it was like, I was spending more time replacing Okay, you've run out of your, place some more of your... Than I was playing the game. And like, actually chilling out and relaxing. Yeah. <laughs> what was that you were saying? <laughs> I got time. I did this one! <laughs> Alright, Poodle. You in the overworld or the underworld? Yes, <laughs> she's in the overworld. That's what's sad. She's digging down. All right, you need to get yourself a bucket of water. <laughs> no, he's talking about so you can t light yourself on. Get your. So you can put yourself in. Yeah. Squat. <laughs> he's <the> morning now. <laughs> Also, what are we doing for Christmas in game this year? Last year, we were on Shanklaville. Let's do a tree again. Let's do a tree and... Where do we do a tree? Mm, oh, it's the question. first! We need there's not to a lot swap of over to the festive pack. There's not a lot of room in the chopping district. So it has to be... No, I mean, we could do it there. Can I, can I change the, can I change the pack, babe? I have. I don't care if you want to. I want to change it to the festive pack. Remember the festive pack? That one's a little off-putting because. Will that run on everybody's devices, or? Well, she can force it to you. I think she can. Well, I'm pretty sure because there was one time that I changed the pack, and like GDH lost his shit. Stuff, stuff. His yeah. Yeah. Thanks, family friendly. Oh, 
something crashed. Off that side over there. Off that side. Squat. And throw some gravel in there. You can make that. <laughs> I can't even do that. You're a mess. Oh, so you're using I see some oh there's the Hydra by Harris Heller. Is that is he just is that what's just playing or are you choosing his um no, Her, the Harris Heller stuff? The, uh, mm. <coughs> I can't even hear what's being played. I have no clue what your pretzel stuff sounds like. I'm eating pretzels, by the way. <laughs> Probably. Well, you're 11 right now. You don't need to go any further. I want to go farther down. <laughs> I want to go down to the bottom. The bottom is between five and two. Sell the dirt for. I am. He's terraforming. Oh yeah. So I want my middle main island to be like a little town, and I think that's where I want to have my my shops. Wow, this chick whispering is kind of weird. Chick whispering. On the music. It's, it's really throwing me off. So, how are This lava is really giving poodle. Sorry, go ahead. No, go ahead. I was just saying this lava is really giving poodle a headache. Alright, go on, go on. How are things up where you are, Dan? In, in the land of the Canadians. Well, right now it's full of snow. Um, we got a pretty. For the next three days, we got a pretty good. Uh, we're getting a pretty good snow coverage here, which is which is good. You know, you let the some, kids play a little bit. You get some good lake effect snow up there, then, right? Up oh yeah. Windsor. And and we're right now we're sort of in red alert, like which which here is like just basically one step away from another lockdown because our numbers are now looking so good. But, uh... Yeah, I'm still not <clears throat> understanding that whole thing because even like the um, what do you call it? WHO is saying like the lockdowns aren't the good thing. Well, it's people are just getting over it. Like they're just done with it. Oh yeah, there's a lot of COVID fatigue. You know, it's it's been going on for so long that people are even even the people that started with good intentions, right? You know, wanting to abide by all the guidelines and, and I don't you know starting to sort of but like there's just like so many like just bizarre rules that people are trying to put in place like the the governor of Pennsylvania um he put in a rule last week about um, I can't 
fly. What is going on here? He put in a rule that on Wednesday before Thanksgiving that uh, the bars need to stop serving alcohol at like 6 p.m. Oh, really? Here they did something similar, but they did it for 11 p.m. Which is still, I mean, it, it, I understand what they're trying to do with that. You know, trying to get you to go home. But uh, yeah, I mean, the, the time was a little bit arbitrary. 6 p.m., 11 p.m. It doesn't really matter, right? Yeah, but I don't actually think he had the authority to do that. But there, there's, I understand that things get transmitted to bars. I understand that things get transmitted to restaurants. So why are you singling out one? They only block. They only close one restaurant, or no? You, they didn't Just bars, bars, not restaurants. They, they weren't allowed to serve alcohol after a certain time. It just, seems it just seems it's just a lot of very arbitrary stuff. I wonder it if it was just because, like, it, you know, for example, here, like, we have already a, a, a like an alcohol limit. Like, I don't know if you guys have it, but at 2 a.m., all places have to stop server, serving yeah, alcohol, yeah, and that's what sort of encourages to encourages you to, okay, start getting you, start making your way home. So I wonder if they were saying like, okay, if we stop serving people, you know, alcohol to people around this time, maybe that's going to encourage them to, you know, start heading home start you know um, uh, isolating a bit <laughs> you, you know what i think i think that actually just encourages people to like get hammered before the bars close at 6 p.m <laughs> yeah i mean I'm, I'm okay with that as long as they're doing it home right like if you want to drink <laughs> home, get black. no this is it like at the bars like we're gonna shut everything down so everybody get as much in as you can before 6 p.m <laughs> Yeah, I see that happening. Where? Did you get called into what the, is, uh... What is first world problem? ...service with the National Health System? Or are you still, uh, in the prison nursing? A little bit of both. I actually did... I didn't get called in, but they put out a call because right, uh, right near where I live, we have a lot of farms. We have a lot of it's a lot. It's a big farming community, yeah, but yeah. mostly, um, mostly, um, what do you call those? You know, the, the farms that are indoors. Um, Hydroponics. Yeah, something similar to that. But basically, we have these huge like buildings that you know they're just. Yeah. Uh, I forget the name. There's a name for it. Uh, what you basically go grow all indoors. Um, we can grow all kinds of vegetables indoors year round because of it. Uh, and we had a pretty bad outbreak. So they put out a call saying, you know, if, if you're a nurse that, you know, needs a little bit more hours <laughs> at this time. Um, and I, I was, I, I happened to have dropped to part-time because there just weren't enough, enough, um, things for us to do because you know with the, with the with the pandemic as soon as we heard about it we started lowering our numbers at the jail yeah. so we started you know allowing less people to come and releasing as many as we could so with that with that, that nice yeah so what that led to to you know whereas we had a number of nurses you know that usually ran the place um you know all of a sudden we needed we didn't need as many so a lot of us ended up uh taking jobs at other places and i did end up going for like a couple of months to the um to the farming community basically just testing people clearing people of... and uh we we did pretty good we actually uh we, we went close it all up <laughs> no we, we couldn't close it right because these are essential workers right so yeah. um so basically we just we, a bunch of us nurses went up to to Leamington, which is where all the farms are, and essentially, I was getting up at like three in the morning to drive up and clear all the all the workers and test whoever needed to be tested and this and that. So I did a little bit of that. I've done a little bit of um, uh, contact tracing, which is basically just calling people that have tested positive or have yeah. come around people that tested positive mm -hmm. and letting them know, you know, what what to do and what not to do. So my sister's whole family got COVID last. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. So it was it was very mild. Like it's my uh, my 
my sister, my brother-in-law, and they have four kids together. And everything was just like, the symptoms were so different between different people. It's so bizarre. Oh yeah, it's, like it's a my, living my disease, right? My brother-in-law had a, he, he lost his sense of taste and he had a little bit of sniffles. My sister had like a full on sinus infection basically, but no loss of taste, no fever. And then two of the kids had fevers, and um, I think one of them had like a fever of like 101, and that was it. Yeah, I mean that's. Uh, just that's what we want, right? For people to. Um, that the symptoms were so diverse, and it was just not consistent. Did any of them have any like long out, long lasting effects or anything that's still that's no, still I, bogging them? One from... of the guys at work had it, and he still has not gotten his taste buds back, like his sense of taste. Yeah, my mom had it in Mexico, and uh, she is one of those people that basically uh, got over it, which is good. But she's still sort of dealing with the lasting effects of it. It kind of kicked it into early Ooh. diabetes. Yeah. The only person that I know that actually passed away from COVID, um, actually kind of passed away because he was depressed from COVID and drank too much and was diabetic. Where'd you go? Are, are the schools open over there? Um, like a full in, high school in person? For, yeah, they were they were open for in person. Um, this week they are closed to the high school. Is I think the week before Thanksgiving they had eight eight active cases. And they were like, look, this thing's gonna spike once uh, everybody's off of Thanksgiving, so they just shut it down. Once yeah, we're considering. Out. They're considering doing that here because um, we did have a here in Windsor we had a couple of outbreaks at a couple uh, one high school and one public uh, one high school and one elementary school. So um, in this in the high school they, they didn't even close it they only sent so they're doing um, groups you know the, the cohorts. Yeah. So they basically just dismiss that cohort, um, and that seemed to do the trick. I think our state's a little bit backwards, but uh, <laughs> yeah, the governor's just putting on some pretty serious lockdown restrictions. They're not like, <laughs> you have to shut down, but uh, here's what you should do. Oh, he's got to give it, get his shovel. He has a shovel. He's going to hit you with a shovel. <laughs> his spoon. Avery had a zombie that was coming after her with a spoon. Oh, did you? Put it on, put it on, put it on. Because <laughs> then when you go into the nether. So when are you joining us in Crash, Jen? I'm not. I like my little ravine base that I've created over here. And I want to keep working on it. It is actually really coming along. Fair out. enough. Put a pretty nice storage system in there. It was kind of like what I would do now versus what I did on my base when we started here. Yeah, I visited the ravine like maybe a, a week or so before I joined Crash. It was, it's it was looking really good. I still have to go over there and fix her. Uh, My door, it keeps breaking. It keeps yeah, breaking. Part of me just wants breaking. to be like, just 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 forget the spiral and just put in a regular door that just goes up. Wait, was it a redstone spiral door? Yeah. Yes. 
There's a free I didn't see that. Spiral door. And then on the outside, you have to use um, uh, target block to open it. So you gotta like shoot it so that mobs can't just like step on the pressure plate. Hey, you must be excited about the, the that new wireless redstone component coming up. I think I am, but I'm not quite the sure. I want to see how it actually What's works. it called? Sculter? Skulk. Yeah, Skulk Sensor. Skulk? Yeah, the Skulk Sensor. You gotta put the Skulkers in your shelters. I saw <laughs> a video where Mambo was creating a door, like a piston door with a Skulk Sensor, and he could literally just fly through it because as soon as he entered the, 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 the chunk, it would hear him. And then it would open and let him through. Yeah, that was based on a mod that somebody made to simulate a skull sensor. So as of this point, we're not exactly sure how things are going to work out with skull sensors. I thought it's already been tested because it's already on beta, right? Um, it, I don't think it is. How was Mumbo playing it then? It was. I think that was just a mod. Somebody made a mod. No, 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 I saw the skulks. He was placing his skulks and I didn't. Yeah, I'm pretty sure somebody made a mod to simulate them. Oh, I see what you're saying. So it's just simulating the actual, the action of it. Yeah, and that, that kind of stuff's important because if Mojang actually looks at that and they're like, okay, well, yeah, no, this is not how we thought about this at all. You know what I mean? It was it was an interesting concept to play with. I'm not sure that it was. I don't think it was legit. Yeah, but I think you know, like you said, now that Mojang has seen like one of the biggest players, you know, kind of come up with something so cool, you, you don't think that they would just kind of add it to the. Well, they always use um, community feedback. It's not like they just ignore everything. They're like, no, we know better than you guys do. Yeah, because a lot of, I mean, you, you, I'm sure there's a lot of Minecraft stuff that has come from family or from fans requesting it, right? Oh, or, yeah, or fans. I mean, they even hire people like the guy that made the Ether mod and uh, got made horse mod. You know what I mean? Like they added the horse mod or the horse into the game based off of the mod that the guy made for the horse mod. I saw mod where they replace the horses with cars. No, before they had horses in the game. Somebody thought you should Do you want some ice cream? Do you want some ice cream? This game hates me. I can't find fucking diamonds. Well, once I get up there, honey, I'll fix you ice cream when you're streaming. Cream. Look at this little guy! You know, he'll grow up. And then they always want to leave home. I don't have any name tags on me. You're not anywhere near them. They're over in the crash site. And I got a ton, yeah. And we can't use stasis chambers for ender pearls. Thanks, Mojang. I'm sure they lied. Don't right. you think? Eventually, there's gonna be party between um, Bedrock and I, I think Java. to an extent there is, but it's just like there are two completely separate teams, and I don't know how they can get together to make one team to create one cohesive thing. What? I don't know, maybe I'm wrong, but it, it seems to me that they eventually want Bedrock to be the end-all be-all. I don't know, maybe I'm wrong, but don't well, you think eventually they'll work all the Java... You're way to market it because you can do it on cell phones and on uh, Xbox or PlayStation or Switch or whatever platform you want to use. And uh, did you know that they're, they're actually using Bedrock uh, worlds to create the background images for the um, for um, that other game that they made. What's it called the uh, dungeons. dungeons? 
dungeons. Yeah, yeah apparently, apparently all this stuff. Because I, 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 I've been playing it, and uh, I was really impressed with the backgrounds and stuff. It's like that looks really cool. Like that looks like something I could go and make. And yeah, sure enough, it's actually made on bedrock maps, and then they translate it into dungeons. Mm -hmm. Yeah. For the rest of the for the rest of the game, but the background itself is made by just the way that we make worlds. Well, it'd be more like the way that, like, a map maker makes a world. Because it's... Oh! It's, like, all creative building. Okay, I think that shape there is going to give a nice flow of the natural river area. And then we can have our boat dock there. Yeah, I'm digging that. And then I need to have some sort of a wall that comes Holy crap. from here and across and around so that I have the ubiquitous wall. Yeah, I can clean up some of these edges. What time is it? It's 9.01. Uh, I'm going to have to take a bio real quick, but then I can one. probably... I can probably get some layout going on some... Can I take a bio? bio in here. And yes, I have not finished my roads and, or my walls and my towers because I have not finalized the design that I want. Is this a pickle maker here? That's uh... Absolutely. <laughs> it's loaded up if you want to try out my pickle maker. <laughs> How do you load it up? What do you mean? Hold on, you what do, do I do? Place, uh, place a pickle on the dirt. Place a pickle. Hey, who's gonna wanna come and oh, see that? Oh, it's got the... Yeah, let me, let me come over there, because it's great. I love it. It's so simple. It's so cute, Liz. I'm so excited. Oh, it detects the pickle. <laughs> it detects when it's grown. And it waits until it's grown to full, to yep. full um, four, right? Yep. Yep. Oh, look at that! Look at the pickle maker. That's pretty cool, and it's not. It doesn't even look that difficult to make. I've been doing this by hand. Name it Vlasic or something like that, but you know, I'll probably get Vlasic. <laughs> the Vlasic Nader. How about classic pickles? There we go. Okay. Excuse you. Get out of here. <gasps> How rude. Wait, if you put an auto clicker on this, it's pretty much automatic. Absolutely. The only thing that you have to do is refill your bone meal. But it's taking one. Can you make a. Make can you make pills. a. Can make what? Can you make it do make it do what um what the Oh gosh, where it just bone meals itself? Yeah, it does that. I thought you had to Oh. No, you place a pickle, it detects that you placed it, it bone meals it, and then one tick later it uses a piston to move the block. Not more than one tick because it it's it has to wait until it's four pickles, right? Yeah, but you only need, it only takes one bone meal to make four pickles. Oh, that's, I thought you had to add, add like uh, one for I each. I thought you did too, but it it's not, and that's actually really nice. And the only reason that I made that thing was so that I could like not have ground spawning in this little channel. 
which I really need kidding. to detail out. I just gotta figure out exactly what I want. Yeah, I'm using a little pickle maker. <laughs> it's the Zlasic pickle maker. That's really cool. You should you should just build a pickle around it just to make it to actually make make it a build. Mm, you should go all sure. green. You pickle should go all pickle. green on it, babe. Yeah, we don't need a giant pickle jar. Oh, a pickle jar would be cool. With lots of with lots of dill pickle puns. Why are you making a big dill out of it? <laughs> uh, quit gurking me around. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna go to the bathroom, and I will be right back. What are you ladies working on? Um, well, I... I'm not... I'm trying to search for diamonds, and this game hates me, and I can never find diamonds. Cause you're on level 37, yeah. Dinkus! <laughs> like, six holes straight. <laughs> six Nothing. holes straight? Six? Six different ones. Oh. In different directions. You're getting hit by something. Oh. <laughs> um... <laughs> This game just uh, doesn't like me. She has no patience for... <laughs> oh, Lord of mercy. Um, so, yeah, she, uh... Oh my god, yep. it's a spawner. Oh. Is it a spider spawner? Quick. Oh no, it's one of those. I love you so much. My daughter, everybody. I love it. I think it is, because it looks That's like... That's going. Pretty good. Um, I have finals this week. Well, I don't have to go back to my... Oh, well, tell me about this presentation, yeah. Oh, it was cool. She had a presentation today that... Did, um, you have a major class. in it? Huh? What are you um, majoring in? Uh, political science. Oh, nice. She wanted to major in German, but oh, that's just not an option, unfortunately. Why is she moving? Uh, I think she probably would like to. In the future, yeah. we were supposed to go on a, uh, on an amazing uh, after you graduate trip, your graduation present from her grandmother, but that got completely blown out of the water because of COVID. <laughs> well, the good news is that there's a vaccine in the uh, horizon, right? Yep. You, it's, uh, you could always do it up after. Well, quite possibly. That, that, is, that is the hope. But yeah, so she was... Cause, and we were, the whole reason I was saying that was we were going... One of the places we were going to go was Germany and Austria. And uh, France was where we were gonna go. She was in German Honor Society. Oh, so she. Uh... Hello. Hello, it's Cal. How are you? So is Charlotte in like full blended school or is it like It's time in person right now. Okay. Babe, how do I how do I heal up my how do I heal up my tools? Do I have to go to your base? Well, you could, yeah. If you want to use the furnace thing. Yeah. Is the uh, <clears throat> our our uh, first marine thing is broken still, right? Mm, no, I kind of fixed it. Oh, it, oh, you did. Cool, cool. Well, but that yeah, that would work for her. Doesn't work for us. Right now, did no, you do you have a pack? 
You can't use it on XP mode anymore? No. Mm -hmm. So you can only use it to, to actually make blocks? That's it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. mm, interesting. I didn't know that. Did you... What, what pack do you have? Because it looks different. And your clouds look really good. Uh, I will have to... Oh, and it has the Northern Lights as well, which is the whole reason that I got that back. Exit out to the menu. It is the ESBE 2G 3.0. It, it almost seems like it's uh, like it just makes things a little brighter and it does. and the I sky, really right? Like the sky, the like the clouds, look really like good. The entities are What's wrong with the really entities? Dark. Like chests are dark, mobs are dark. Why are things like chests and and cart and mine carts and stuff considered entities? Because it's not like a block that's placed in the wall. Well, a chest is. But I get a mine it's, cart. It's because it's interactive. Move. Kind of. It's like sub block size. Man, that's actually a good question. Why is a chest an entity? <laughs> We should ask Google. Well, a um, armor stand is also an entity, right? Because it's you can interact with it, you can do stuff with it. Yeah. I mean, that explanation makes a lot of sense, but other than for like, I mean, I don't know. A chest has a block entity associated with it that holds additional data about the block. Never a dull moment. Just like, what did, how did it, what? How did it, I... Mm. Yeah, I guess I cut down all those trees. Tree killer. I'm, sur I'm surprised you don't have a tree farm here yet. I never had an automatic. Yep. Yeah, you I thought did. you had a, yeah, you had a tree farm in uh, Ajaxia, didn't you? Yes, he did. I did. Did you did too. Whatever you did too, you tried to make that that tree thing that like. Oh, I, I had the one for oak, but then it broke. Yeah. Yeah. That was only for one type of tree. I need a ton of jungle tree right now. That's what I'm doing right now, actually. Hi. Just planting them by hand. Your daddy. Hi, turd. Is Doodle leaving? No. Her daddy just called, but she's not leaving. What you gonna do?
chop all these trees down. Pulling in. And then I think I actually want to raise this platform up. Should I do stone roads? Cobblestone and stone and... There's a whole lot of stone textures on walls and buildings. I could go like dirt path and cobble. I would call this more industrial than synthwave. <laughs> Maybe we need to find another channel. How about... Mm, hype? Hype music? Oh, hype music, okay. I have to do happy, chill, pop, holiday, epic, chill, upbeat, ambient, synthwave, <laughs> rock, EDM, it's uh, it's uh, December already. You could throw some holiday music there. You totally could, babe. Deck the halls by Wild Pixies Souvenir Umbria version. Okay. Hey, whatever. Cool. Oh lord, she's in the... It's a pretty screensaver you got there, babe. Like the background of me had changed? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep, doesn't go away. It's on fire. I'll step outside for like a second and I'm immediately on fire. Yeah, it's because you jumped into lava. <laughs> no, like there's nothing here. Whatever you say, Lava <sighs> Dale. I had, the other day, I was on, and um, something kept hitting me, and then I got killed, and um, yeah, it said I was here. slain by a zombie, mm -hmm. but there was no zombies around, anywhere, yet I kept taking damage from one, and then died to one. I, I don't know what happened. Oh, yeah, it's those invisible it zombies that they just added. Oh, is that what it is, Dan? Thanks. There's something. There's something there. Yeah, there isn't anything there. Why is it Well, wonder if you can can you remove the block? See what's like. There's something underneath there. That's. No, there's nothing. That's why I put the cobblestone out there. Yeah, that is weird. It's like right outside her door, right in her Take door. Picture. There's a block that's on fire. Fire. Hold on. Uh, well, we don't have fire spread Wait. on the server, so that doesn't make any sense. Hold on. Take a picture. Don't you want to video? Uh, yeah, but I, I'm gonna... Let me... Let me get off of the Discord. Two viewers? Oh my goodness.
Hmm. I couldn't really tell what was going on there, to be honest. <laughs> Alright, did my chat glitch out? Are you there, Dan? Hi, man. Can you hear me? Yes, I can. Did you see what was going on? Yeah, kind of. There was like, there was nothing there. I couldn't tell because she didn't look down in the video. There was nothing there. But, yeah. What did I do with my... Oh, here. Still catching on fire. Yeah. It's like there's a phantom fire. Well, probably what she should do... Put his bed down and go to sleep. Did you... Did you hear him? Yeah. <laughs> Intentional game mechanic. What is happening? So... Respawn anchors explode in the overworld, but beds explode in the nether? Yeah, you know how nether, uh, beds, if you place one in the nether and then you try to sleep on it, it, it will explode. Um, so basically this, this spawn anchor is... Does it give you the same message if you die from it? Like, uh, die from an intentional game mechanic? I don't know. I didn't pay attention to that. Do you watch the... Do, do you watch the, um... Oh gosh. The Minecraft Survival Guide, Dan. With Pixel Revs? I've, I've yeah. only watched a couple episodes. I've, okay. uh, yeah, I've watched a few episodes, I guess. Just recently, he did a, like, death guide. <laughs> he, like, did this whole, the whole thing of how, like, all the ways to die in Minecraft. All of them, the death messages? Yeah. Yeah, he, he found all of the obscure ones. He didn't, like, go into, like, detail of, like, you know... Like... You know, the creeper killed you, or, like, the... Or, not the creeper, is it, like... Like, if it said, Pixel Rift was slain by a zombie, he didn't go and get the Pixel Rift was slain by a, um creeper and a husk and stuff like that, but, like, he tried to get all the different, bear, like, the different individual ones like the the main ones not the variants there within if that makes sense it's like the archetype but not the uh variants um it, yeah it was pretty funny because he died like what 60 times or something like that i think it was but i, I did like how he was like not like, he wanted to have it all on the same chat message, and then he completely forgot about it. <laughs> he kept, and he he kept out. closing out, and he was yep, like, damn it. Closed out. <laughs> I'm so far behind with those, and it's, like, hard to get caught up. Uh, right now, he's working on his... Museum. Yeah, the museum. He works on Java, though, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I did um, some single block sky block on Java the other day. It's pretty amazing. It kinda... What's that? So like, you know how like sky block is like very very grindy. Like I'm gonna wait for these trees to spawn up. Yep. Like almost to a fault. Single block sky block is like, oh well, I have to break this one block. It's gonna respawn right away, but it gives you a source of resources and some variety. So like, sometimes it's dirt, sometimes it's stone, sometimes it's like a wood log, sometimes it's a mob. So all your resources come from just the one block? Yes. And what's the point? Well, until you thing? until you get until you get enough resources, then you can start like building out and then making. Things to make more resources. Like, you can still plant 20 trees if you want to plant 20 trees. 
they're not stopping you from doing that. But at the same time, you don't have to sit there and farm trees. You can just like break the cedar block. You know what? Go ahead. Yeah, Please blow up. I could use it. Thank you. Use your help. Yeah, I can't believe you had time to play some Skyblock. I mean, the pace that you've been going through here in here in Crash is incredible. Like, I, I feel like I'm so far behind because I don't have a tenth of what you've done. I'm reasonably efficient when I when I do work. Reasonably. So have you guys uh, tried playing a little bit of uh, dungeons yet, or not yet? Yeah, we did. Very, a very tiny little bit. He was sweet, and he bought me, uh, he bought me dungeons, and mm -hmm. <laughs> sure it was pretty much no. It, it was pretty much just me following behind him as he did everything, which is pretty much just how we roll when we play anything. I think. I was having a lot of time, a lot of fun with the weapons, you know, the the, uh, the bows and all that stuff. Yeah, I do like I think the was, variety. I think I was beating somebody with a, like a turkey leg or something like that. You can, <laughs> you can like use really weird weapons. Mm -hmm. Being fun with a turkey leg. <laughs> but I've only cleared like three or four That's levels, great. I think. Speaking of turkey legs, we did go to the I was just about to say that sounds like Chris like, at the Renaissance Fair. What a month and six weeks ago. Back. Yeah, what? Can you buy like a October. turkey leg? Oh, oh yeah. yeah, that's like. He yeah. stood. He stood there and mowed down on a turkey leg. <laughs> Wasn't it dry? No, it's not. No. It smoked. It smoked. Yeah, it. It was. Yeah. Mhm. Mm and then I got a hot pretzel. That Even was not hot. Because <laughs> it's so cold. Let's when, see. When we got to that? see. It was like the. It was October. It was over. I think it was over Halloween. It was like when October. I was up. For... I was there uh, the thirtieth, the thirty first. It was their last weekend. Yeah. So yeah, between the it was the thirty first, the first and the second, or no, the thirtieth through the first was there like last weekend. We saw the shopping show, that was really cool. I wouldn't mind getting in touch with that guy. Because like the stuff he does is pretty cool. And the firewood guy? I don't know, like, it, it, you can't even go anywhere, there's so many outside your... So she came down here last weekend. Past weekend. Mm-hmm. Up. We I came up there. a negative COVID test to get here. And nobody checked it. Yeah. I, I don't understand why you would put an arbitrary rule on things and then not have some form of yeah, not check it. It doesn't make sense to me. 
So they're just relying on the honor system? Like, yeah, I guess. pretty much, I guess. But it's like, you know, people are spending real money to follow your rules because they don't want to get fined. But then nobody checks it. You know, and I'm like, I don't know how many times. I mean, I only have to do it one more time, but I don't know how many times my insurance is going to cover me to to do it, you know? I mean, is if I if I have to get another one at the end of December and poor Poodle has to take two in a week. <laughs> also, your insurance charges you for, like, for each test, each COVID well, test? Well, no, I haven't now. No, they're not, but I don't know how many they would just pay for before they went yeah you it, keep it having them you get what i'm so saying like, yeah so like if you have a possible covid exposure most times now insurance will cover you okay i don't hey chris like yeah. poor poodle here can barely even go outside of her her little her little cobblestone her little cobblestone. Like she's, there are just gasps all over the place. Is there like, are there places where gasps like spawn more than others? Oh, that's why like, you left. Okay. That's fine. Whatever. No. If you're in a soul sand valley, they spawn more. He's not, she's not in the soul. She's just like in what used to be the regular, normal, the vanilla nether. No, what used to be the, the vanilla never, it's nether. Netherrack. It's just exactly. netherrack and like... It would change it. It would change it after the fact. I mean, the bottom line is she can barely leave her little cobblestone house without being killed by a gas. I mean, they're all over the place. Yeah, the Nether has gotten so annoying lately with all the piglins. And you have to wear you have to wear gold every time that you go there. I just keep a gold helmet on. Yeah, my head's too big. I can't wear a helmet on top of it. <laughs> yeah, now we're going to do the same thing with snowy biomes. You have to wear leather in those areas now. Well, oh, do not you, fall you through. You have to wear leather, yeah. leather boots. It's one piece of leather armor and then you can't freeze to death in the snow or snow. So I'd go with boots, because doesn't the boots keep you from sinking down? No, I think you still sink down. Oh. I think they're going to have an enchantment that they add that's a non-thinking, or like... I would elf enchantment, do. where you can like hop over the... Hop yeah, I thought over, I heard... Like, like... I thought I heard something about that. There's like a new special... There's a new type of snow that you can fall through, but if you're wearing leather boots, it won't let you fall through maybe I that's what i thought i, know I that thought if that if you're yeah. wearing leather armor then it will not let you freeze to death because you can freeze when you're in the snow now ha ah, went too far i don't know Alright, so... Ooh, always good to find the main... the main hub. I should lay out some streets. Create yourself a little house in the hub. That would be cool. Is it a hub house? Oh, oh! Is it a regular spider? Seriously, what is No, it's a cave spider. You alright there, babe? All right, four stacks of wood. How long did that take me? 20 minutes? Maybe. Hmm. 
head is coming up. What big hole? Are you talking to me? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Can you help me on it? Oh, yeah. It's like where I got all the stones for the walls in the island. I would like to have an every item storage system. Of course you would, Mumbo. That'd be a pretty massive storage system. Well, I think I can do bulk storage, because like, on the before time, I have like 130 shoulder boxes of stone. But I think I could probably have a couple storage silos. I don't know. I gotta think about some layout things. Oh. I've got a nice big room here. Just chests everywhere. How many items are currently in the game? Currently in Minecraft? Is that what you're doing? Yeah. Certainly more than my periodic table in Minecraft. Currently in Minecraft. There are seven hundred and eighty one stackable items. Wow. There are over seven hundred blocks in Minecraft? Stackable, stackable items. Stackable items. Mm -hmm. Oh, so not necessarily blocks. Okay. So there are seven hundred and eighty one stackable items, seventeen shelter boxes, forty one books. Max level. Single books. That's not including combination. Uh, 27 tools. 36 combat items. What are the combat items? items? I'm not exactly sure. Armor? Mm. I mean, yeah, if you don't. I do you know, yeah. I don't Including dragon's breath. Dragon's breath. Hmm. And that was from a Reddit post by Rickaby Gagi. I'm not sure. Okay. Start thinking about storage options because I need some sort of storage system, which means we need some sort of an iron farm. Because I am not thinking of having iron. I 
love to grind, but come on now. So I got this island area roughed out. <clears throat> kind of like shoot from there over to there. Especially from here. Kind of out and curves into this. And then some sort of a dry dock building or a wet dock building. And then the gate. And then maybe a tower here. And then a wall that ties into here. With another like archway gate. I think I can do that. Well, do I need. Why did you stop? Why? Oh. oh. Now that I have a giant creeper statue. No. Isn't that kind of the point? Of the point? That's, what, that's what the Statue of Liberty was for, kind of, wasn't it? Among the, among the many things. Not for a lighthouse, but a point of. Like a, a point that you could see, and you could, even if at night, maybe you wouldn't be able to see it. Not as a, specifically a lighthouse, but no, never mind, whatever. I really am interested to see what, like, I've seen black and white pictures, but if you think about, like, Statue of Liberty before it tarnished, because that was all shiny copper at one point. Yeah, I've often sure. wondered what it would be look like. I can't, I know that there are pictures out there where people have edited it and made it and like you know used Photoshop to edit it back to copper. Yeah, but they weren't there. Uh, yeah, I know. That's what I'm saying. Like Minecraft could actually give you a somewhat real time glimpse into. They're adding copper and giving it some reasonably natural regeneration on the patina. Oh my god. Oh yeah, and I actually think I need to make the creature bigger. It really needs to be bigger. I was going to say something, but um, because the island turned out really good, but the island is so big that it, it, it almost begs for a much bigger creeper. Yeah, like the, the platform, the pedestal that this thing is on is, I don't know, roughly... Like, long. okay, like, you know, the feet of the creeper, mm -hmm. what would be his feet? The platform that's below it? Mm -hmm. But above the star, if yeah. that platform, if that square were his feet, and then you went up from there. Does that yeah, make so sense? Needs to be 20 blocks taller. Yeah, I guess. So if he was like 18 or 20 blocks taller, then he would have to be four or five blocks wider. I mean, he's a nice, easy little character to, 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 to build, because he's just a little, little rectangle. <laughs> Relatively speaking to other of the different ones. I'm not saying he was easy to build, but I'm just saying his shape is a little is very convenient. I like the observatory that's next to that. That's a pretty yeah, nice build. Nice. I like yeah. the, um, the top, and I like the way the telescope turned out. We're gonna come over and visit Dan's little base. <laughs> you have the weirdest little dragon creature things. You've always done this. 
It's so I don't get lonely, man. I get, I got, I got a friend there all the time. What is that? He's created like oh. he's created a weird little like Dan uh, behind the portal. You are very creative, my man. He does really oh, I just kind of throw stuff together <laughs> randomly. Uh, you're still really creative, and you're really good with organic builds. Like, very good with that. I really think once this cave is done, because I want to do the, like, I want to I wanna finish the walls, and then uh, I think this cave is going to look nice once it's all finished. I've been kind of working different patterns for the, uh, for, like, the walls and the, you know, the ceiling and all that. Oh, oh that's a yeah. lot of monster gobble. Yeah, I had to build one no, of those. Uh, Christopher, it's 9.45, your time, so you're gonna be, you got like 15 minutes, Well, time to go to bed. Don't judge me. I'm not judging you. Excuse me, did you hear me? Oh, hey, this is you, you don't have, bubble. you don't have to listen to him complain. Yeah, this is where I, I won the whole floor of this, uh, made of, uh, those, um, do you want to explode one of them? No, I don't. Why they're covered with glass? Because if you if the glass wasn't there, you could you could accidentally just touch one of them and it would explode. Are these all walls? They are. Yeah, yes, they are. Yeah, and once I have, once I have uh, look at the, the uh, respawn block for the nether. Can you see it? That purple thing that looks like looks like a mini nether portal. Portal, yeah. Or like just one of the swirls within the. That will look very. That will look very. Why don't we just cheat you in about 125, 128 of those? So Chris could do that real easy for you. And we could see what that floor would look like, Dan. <laughs> oh, wow. Look at the uh, look at the northern lights. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Hey, I want this pack, man. Where did you get it? Um, I think I got it off of... Hold on. Let me check what I put on Reddit. It's definitely not. That looks really cool. That looks really cool. What the? Seriously? Seriously? Where, where are you at? Reddit. I know, but what is it? What, what's the number at? I missed that. 7.6. Wow. I 
I will have to look it up. There's like mctedownloads.com or something like that. Oh, by the way, there's a sugar cane farm behind the uh, mop grinder. There is? Mm -hmm. It's manual. It is kind of wild how fast your mind just kind of forgets that islands used to not be connected. Uh, if I put all my tools that need to be fixed, uh oh, in the In a chest? It's just a little bit lacking in the holiday music stuff. Which chest? Uh, just a chest somewhere that you can access it. Would you be able to, would you be willing to heal up my tools when no one else is online? Yeah. Okay. Just remind me. Mainly just, maybe, mainly just so that we don't have like, you know. You're near something or other, aren't you? Hmm. I can hear it. stuff in there and then it goes and goes and I sit out back here can you see it mm -hmm. and then it's going in my storage system and it's going to get focused here
tell you something. These chocolate covered gummy bears are life changing. I am sorry, but that does not sound. I know! That's why I'm like, what? We got him when we went to Wilbur's. Is that what it was? No. Weaver's. I can never remember the name of that. I don't know why I can't seem to remember. Huh? No, well, he seems to like it. And they're very much a gummy bear family. Like, <laughs> Alright. Let's get one thing straight, okay? Haribo? <laughs> 100%. Weirdo, off brand. Albert, you don't like the Albanese ones? No. <laughs> Black Forest gummy bears are okay. It's like a He's still talking about alternative. <laughs> yeah, they're okay. He'll do in a pinch. There we go. Come to mama. Here we go. Doodle left the realm. No. Okay. No, I said doodle -doo. Downstairs and so Dan is gone. See you, Doodle. I go go say goodbye to her. I'll be back. Okay. All right. Love you. I'll be back. Oh, you need to come over and let me do your nails. Why? Because I got a new nail thingamabob. We can still hear you. Oh, okay. hey. Oh, sure. You wanna, you wanna walk down to, to the mailbox with me? It says that I got mail. Cute. Station. Still seems good. Okay, so in order to sort, you kind of use five spaces behind. Seven hundred and eighty one stack work items.
Yeah, it's 16. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Alright, I guess this has to get dug back another notch. So I can see banks of 16 that drop down. So yeah, I kind of think I want to have some sort of a tiered system. Like a grand storage hall of some form. So I guess I'll have to bump it to the bottom of it. So maybe I will work I do like man-made holes that you dig out that you can just like fly around. It's very satisfying. So if I can do like bulk storage for a few rows and then I can have a multi and sorting system. There, darling. Hmm. Let's make a map. Take a look at everyone, the ones you took advantage of, whose bridge you burned to send above. Are you proud of everything you've done?
What are you trying to make there? I'm going to make um, a larger map so that I can kind of like oh, map okay. out the project while I'm working on it. But I think I need to go. I do a new map here ish. Jeez, we just got about a foot of snow in the last probably four hours. Uh, that's pretty impressive, actually. Yeah, I just I just looked outside and I was actually gonna I was thinking about going to get some food and then as soon as I looked outside, it's like, like nope, nope, <laughs> nope, nope. <laughs> not going out there. Uh -uh. But uh, then I thought maybe I'll have some delivered, but then I'm putting somebody else in danger. Well, I give him a good tip. Cutting off a little bit, kind of in and out a bit. Sorry. going on with the lag but it's just out of control i'm not doing anything uh I well know, uh, like, maybe my cows could my cows be making lag if, if you have like nine thousand cows no nah, that's not that probably 20 30 maybe okay i'm gonna climb to the top of this tower and then i'm gonna try it but i do think that i am about done for the evening uh, thanks for jumping on chat, Dan. It's been a good time talking to you. Thanks for having me. It's been a little while. Don't be a stranger, my friend. For sure. Uh, glad you guys are staying safe. And uh, I should be streaming on Thursday. I've been trying to do a bunch of projects around my house. So, yeah, it is what it is. That's a really cool map of my area. I really like the way that the, the winding staircase turned out. Yeah, I really like that uh, part of it too. Um, I, I'm really, I'm gonna say, I'm really impressed with that whole island and mob spine, mob. mob farm that you made there it's yeah, really I cool yeah i kind of just went outside my comfort zone a little bit and just oh i liked it it was like my element i was like go to town. Go flying to town. around and spamming spam For that sure. mossy cobble you, you gotta you gotta join 
there's got to be some kind of entrance though f to your door to your uh, your like right between right where you're looking at right now mm -hmm. wouldn't you want there to be some kind of entrance toward the island yeah i was actually thinking about putting a bridge in right here i was looking at that last night but i'm not sure what it would connect to because i think power maybe if i put a if i put a bridge from here to go over i think i could connect to like the first plat like the first landing up so like a bridge there could connect to here. Oh, I was thinking of a more of a like an like. Don't you want to be able to just travel through the uh, what are those things that you, like that that whole wooden kind of structure that you've made here, like a path structure. Fell from the high place. I fell from <laughs> uh, yep. your tower there. I don't know. I'm getting a little too tired. So I think it needs to be wrapped up. Yes, oh, it does. Kind of stuff out. So. Oh, Harpe yeah, says it needs to be wrapped it's up. A lot. Nobody can hear me. It's fine. Yeah, no, I can hear you. Oh, okay. You're just ignoring me. Good. <laughs> no, it's baby Ocelot. Come on now. He's so cute. You don't have to get off, babe. Yeah, I do. It's after 10 Eastern. Well, you don't go to bed until 11, so if you want to stay until 11. Well, then we would have no time to talk. So, you know. Well, we're talking now, aren't we? Stop being difficult, lady. Oh, it's it's annoying, isn't it? See, I was thinking about some stairs here. Did you see what I just made up? Uh, scaffolding. I don't know. I will have to think about it. Too many projects in one small area. So, all right. Twitch people, good night. Thanks for joining me, uh, all three of you. I appreciate it very much. <laughs> so yeah, thanks, uh, thanks Dan, uh, Jennifer, and uh, Avery. Glad we could be there for you, babe. Yeah. Thank you. Love you. <laughs> Love you. <laughs> all right. Have a good evening. Everybody.